is actually considerably larger than all the people that were ever slaves in Wilberforce's day in the 1800s. So we're talking about an enormous numbers of people and we don't see them. There are many, many different forms of trafficking in the world, but it centers around the fact that people are exploited against their will for somebody else's gain. So even though a child will tell us one form of exploitation, we always think there's probably three more going on underneath. So if I'm working with a young person who has been found in a brothel, let's say, what I will ask her is how do you spend your day then? So what then comes out is she's been working for 10 hours cleaning when she's pregnant and she can't be sexually exploited anymore. The gangs are much more nimble, much more able than we realise. They're very bright. They're running a very successful business. These are often the same people who run the gun rings and the drug rings that are importing and exporting contraband. They're doing it because there's money involved. It's my responsibility to take on this global issue and build a movement which is unbelievably creative because the traffickers are. Fashion for Freedom is a fundraising event to raise funds for counter-trafficking. The UN estimates human trafficking is a $32 billion a year industry and the reason that we need to raise funds is because current funds available equate to less than 1% of that figure. So we really need to step up what we're doing. Many of these victims want to return to their countries of origin to rebuild their lives. The purpose of the fund is to help them in the initial stages. We're trying to use fashion to raise awareness of a mass problem that's going on across every society in the world. Engaging with art through its creation reminds us of qualities as opposed to quantities, as opposed to things that can be merely exchanged. For the last five years, gradually the supply of fair trade cotton has increased. People can look for a fair trade mark on the product and they know this is an independent guarantee that those people have grown or produced that commodity being given a fair price. Not just a fair price, but actually a social premium that goes back to invest in their communities. When we know the power that we hold with our money, with our pocket, with our shopping, with what we wear, with what we buy, with what we consume, it then is our responsibility to act.